Hi guys, straight off the bat, I'm starting with the best electric strimmers. I've added the uh, cordless Makita to the list this year. As you can see, it's, yeah, it's pretty brilliant. Here's a listen to the engine. powerful considering it's a cordless and um, one thing was a bit fiddly was um, sorting out the strimmer line but got there in the end what didn't take too long talking about the strimmer line being a couple of mil it's pretty um, yeah pretty efficient and um, when you're going up against concrete trying to trim it doesn't break it just keeps on going that's another benefit so the balance of power and um, weight is is really here on this as you've seen been able to take on foot long grass no problem at all but at the same time quite happy to detail up against the edge of borders um, as well as yeah as well as going up against concrete generally speaking I really yeah really like this I mean it's hard to to justify using a, um, a cord these days other than the cost of course um, which we're going to get into now with the um, Flymo that I've that I decided to buy because it had some really good reviews online I've got to say um, wasn't particularly happy with the um, Flymo um, it's just there's no variable height like the previous Makita or, and um, so you're basically you're, you're following yeah the height of the machine rather than what height you want to be at where you can vary it with the um, Makita and the Bosch that's just coming up in terms of assembly though I've got to say this is pretty straightforward just pop the flange round it sits into a groove pretty easily it took me a couple of minutes from opening the box to get going um, pop the flange in just um, lock lock the um, guard there and, and away you go it's uh, pretty pretty straightforward to be honest in terms of performance though didn't really like it I mean I like the tilt head that was one thing I did like if you were going to go along um, and um, detail along a bed um, but in terms of power um, and weight and just usability in general um, you can see I'm just at an awkward height here just don't didn't particularly enjoy it at all so what I'm going to do is have a bit of a play with this and see if I can't get a bit better and then update this uh, video for you. Um, it's obviously a powerful tool, but the best of the best is this R30 um, from Bosch corded. Um, super power on it, as you can see. Um, but at the same time, no problem doing the detail work. Here's a listen to the engine. <laughs> Spooling was much easier than the Makita as well. I've got to say, despite the fact it's twin line, um, the head just pops off that much more easily. Um, still took me about a minute or so to get get it get it respooled and set up, but yeah, no problem at all with that really. And much more power than the Makita, although I do prefer the key Makita overall for the uh, maneuverability and, and not having a power cord. Um, but the UR. 3000 from Makita, um, probably on par with this. I maybe, um, just this is just a bit cheaper. Um, I don't, I'm not really a Bosch fan in general, but yeah, this was this is a superb tool, really. Just your average grass trimmer that's you know can easily handle um, tall grass. You've got no problem at all with nettles, thistles, bits and pieces like that. Um, in general, with the variable height and handle, yeah, this 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 unit pretty much will suit anyone. Um, so um yeah that's that's pretty much it for the for the top picks guys you can see more on the website with a link with a bit more detail than i've given here okay thanks very much bye bye